I find it fascinating that you've, you've built, you know, the golf course, the, the desert center, the hotel, the winery. A lot of people are visiting your land and learning firsthand. They're getting a chance to actually learn something about where they grew up, which maybe they don't know the story. Well, we've owned the vineyard since 1968, and it's grown into one of the biggest privately owned vineyards in the country. Most vineyard owners, whether they own five acres, whether they own 50 acres, especially if they own big acreage, yeah. have a dream of owning their own winery. I yeah. think every vineyard owner does. Yeah. Without money, you know, um, words don't have any legs. Yeah. So it wasn't until Don Triggs <clears throat> came to us in the mid-90s and wanted a lease it's up to a thousand acres of our land. That's when we brought it up to him. That for us to lease that land out, we wanted a we wanted what back then was called Vincor. We wanted Vincor to participate in a joint venture winery with us. And it's worked out well. Oh, it's worked for, out great. For the band too and for your people. Oh yeah, it's worked out great. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the wines are, are as best as, as, as they can be in Canada. Uh, they compete with other wineries throughout the country, uh, won tons of awards. And having Justin become the world's first native winemaker, that's, that's a home run. Yeah. Tell us about the four food chiefs and the significance of that here in the winery floor. In wine culture, food and wine go together. So part of having this winery was to incorporate as much Okanagan um, culture and symbolism into this winery. Because if it's gonna be Canada's first native owned winery, it's gotta have, it's gotta stand out different than the other wineries. And, well, in the Okanagan culture, like all native cultures, every group of people has um, special stories, special symbols in their culture. And one of ours is the four food chiefs. How the bear gave his life to feed the people, how the salmon did, how the, for the berries, Saskatoon did, and for roots, how Speedland did. That's why there's, there's Okanagan symbolism and some of our cultural laws, which is the four food chiefs. Chief, thanks for your time and sharing some Thank of your you. thoughts with us.